fasting session. Um, today, Wednesday, 2nd of February, 2012. We're going to be praying uh, against the satanic onslaught on the church, on the house of praise and on the house of We're going to pray against it. The Bible says the gate of hell shall not prevail uh, against the church. The church of God must move forward. So first, I want us to thank God uh, this, this afternoon. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your presence, for your protection over your church for ensuring that the church of God continues to move forward, for making sure, Lord, that the plan of the enemy over the church does not prevail. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you the adoration. Just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we are grateful. We are grateful, Lord, for all you have done over us, for your presence over us, for your protection over your church, for your plan for your church, for your ultimate plan for your church. Oh, Lord, we say thank you. We give you all the glory, Lord. We bless your name. We worship you. We adore you. Be exalted in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. You agree with me that we are, we're in strange times now. You know, it's no longer as popular to be a Christian. The church is less popular than some evil places. This, this wasn't the case before. We're going to pray and say, Father Lord, we come against every plan, every program the enemy has made for the church to lose its influence. In the name of Jesus, for the house of prayers to lose its influence. Oh Lord, we come against that plan. We destroy that plan for the church of God to lose its influence in the society. Father, we come against that plan in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we ask, oh Lord, that the plan of God for the church will come to pass. We come to move forward in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. One of the, one of the uh, 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 elements that the enemy used in the, against the church or within the church is the spirit of fear. You're going to pray and say, Lord, we come against the spirit of fear. The Bible says he has not given us spirit of fear, but of love, of a sound mind. You're going to say, Lord, every program, every, every, um, every, every spirit of fear programmed against the church, programmed to be put into our church. In the name of the Lord, Father Lord, we destroy. In the name of Jesus, every program of fear that the enemy has used, one way or the other, or is using to, to, to stop the church from moving forward. To stop you from wanting to come to church or wanting to fellowship with each other or wanting to do what they should do. Oh Lord, we come against that plan that they merge. Every plan, every program of, of the enemy, every area of the enemy where the enemy is using fear to assault the church. Father, we come against it right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray and say, Lord, any kind of negative instruction or negative information that the enemy has, is using against the church of God. Right now, Father, we come against them. Oh, Lord, we destroy them. We uproot them. Every negative knowledge, every negative information that the enemy is spreading within the church, spreading among the members, oh, Lord, that is causing them to be distressed, causing them to be unhappy, causing them to, to, to lose their faith in the efficacy of the word of God or in the efficacy of the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we come against such plans in the name of Jesus. Thank Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray and say, Lord, we ask that you empower your church. Empower the house of praise, oh Lord. Empower your church. Let us experience your power within the church, oh Lord, that they just go in for, Lord, empower your church. Every single service, every single meeting, oh Lord, let us, let us see an expression of your power. Let us see an expression of your grace in the name of Jesus. Every single meeting, oh Lord, your presence will be so manifest. Oh Lord, that there be healing, there be deliverance. Oh Lord, that we will not be without your power. We experience your power. Oh Lord, the name of your Lord, anoint us afresh with the Holy Ghost and with power. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We're going to pray and say, concerning the church in the kingdom, not just the house of praise, the church in the United Kingdom completely, say, Lord, restore the glory of your church. Restore the glory of your church. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, restore the glory of your church. Oh Lord, restore the glory of your church. Oh, throughout this country. Oh Lord, in this community, restore the glory of your church. There came a time when the church was influential. In politics, the church was influential. In all kinds of areas, the church was influential. It is no longer so. We're going to pray and say, Lord, restore the glory of your church. Let the church become as influential as it used to be. In the name of Jesus, restore the glory of your church, Father. Restore the glory of your church, Father. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm going to pray. I say, any way, any areas, anything the enemy may have stolen from your church, oh Lord, we ask, oh Lord, we will cover them. We will cover them. We ask for a restoration. Oh Lord, we pray for a restoration. In the name of Jesus, Father, restore everything the enemy has stolen from your church, oh Lord. Oh Lord, we ask for a restoration. We claim them back right now in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let there be a restoration. of everything the enemy has stolen from your church, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask for restoration. 
in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We come against every plan of the enemy, oh Lord, against your church. The grace to stand against them. The grace to stand against every wiles of the enemy. Father, Lord, we receive that grace. We receive the grace to stand against every wiles of, of the enemy. Against the church of God, oh Lord, we receive that grace. In the name of we receive the power, we receive the strength. Oh Lord, we receive the ability to stand against every plan of the enemy over the church, oh Lord. We receive the grace. We receive the grace. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We're going to come against every spirit of, of weariness, of tiredness, spirit of discouragement. If within your church, among the workers, among the ministers, among the pastors, every area the enemy is using, oh Lord, weariness, uh, discouragement, oh Lord, against them. Father Lord, we come against that plan in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we come against that plan in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father Lord, we thank you. Oh Lord, we bless you. Father, we are asking, oh Lord, from now on, Lord, we are asking, Father, for an... Uh, for, for a, an onslaught of testimonies. Oh Lord, a deluge of testimonies within your church. A deluge of testimonies, oh Lord. Father, Lord, the Bible says, people, the people might not believe without seeing your power. Oh Lord, we ask, Lord, let there be an experience of your power within your church, in the name of Jesus, in the house of praise, in this church, oh Lord, an experience of your power for the rest of this year, in the name of Jesus, Lord, every single meeting, oh Lord, let it be an experience of your power. Let there be healing. Let there be deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Let us see we have great testimonies, O oh Lord. Let us see great impact of your power, of your presence. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We're going to come against every plan of the enemy once more. So, Lord, we paralyze every onslaught of the enemy against the church. We paralyze in the name of Jesus. Anything the enemy is using against us, against the church, to make us um, be discouraged, to stop us from moving forward, stop from fulfilling our purpose, oh Lord, we come against that plan. We come against, go ahead and say, Lord, we come against that plan, that wherever you are this, this, uh, this, today, say, Lord, we come against that plan of the enemy to stop the church from fulfilling its purpose. We come against that plan, the name of every such plan that the enemy has, oh Lord, to stop from fulfilling our purpose, oh Lord, we come against it. We come against that plan in the name of Jesus. We come against it. We come against it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray for the resources of the church. And say, Lord, every plan the enemy has, every force, every principality that is designed to drain the resources of the church, oh Lord, we come against them right in the name of Jesus. Every plan, every principality, every power that is planning to to, to drain the resources of the church, whether financial resources, whether material resources, whether even human resources, in the name of everything, every angle the enemy is using. Oh Lord, to drain that, those resources of the church, Father, we come against them right now in the name of Jesus. We cancel them, we withdraw them. We withdraw them. We withdraw the power from their hands. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray for open heavens over your church. Lord, let, there be, let the heavens be open. Let the heavens be open. Everything we need, oh Lord, to be a blessing to our community, to be a blessing to our members, to be a blessing to the needy. Oh Lord, let there be a supply, a supply of resources, a supply of financial resources, a supply of wisdom, a supply of understanding, a supply of connection, a supply of relationships. Everything we need, oh Lord, to function effectively as a church. Within our community, Father, everything we need, let there be a supply. Lord, you are the one that can do all things. There's nothing too difficult for you to do. There's nothing you cannot do. You've got all things within, within your hands, oh Lord. Oh Lord, you have the, the Bible says, the head belongs to you and everything in it. Oh Lord, Father, we ask, oh Lord, let there be resources released to your church. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray, Lord, we pray for peace. We pray for peace within our church, peace in our members of our home, in, in the homes of our members, all of for peace. In our families, for peace. In our marriages, peace in the name of No more distraction. Everything that represents distraction, Lord, we come against them right now in the name of Jesus. We come against them right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, just pray and say, Lord, we ask Lord, for, for total victory. Total victory, total victory for your church. In all our plans, everything we are attempting, Lord, total victory. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray for yourself. I say, Lord, in everything I will do this year, Lord, grant me total victory. Grant me total victory. Even where I have made mistakes, where I have committed errors, oh Lord, turn it around for my good. Let it work together for my good. In the name of Jesus. Even where I have made mistakes, oh Lord, turn it around for my good, oh Lord. Where I have been embarrassed, oh Lord, give me victory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. The Lord will answer all your prayers in Jesus' name and give you testimonies. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.